All right. For the first time in a few years, since my uh, Plus for Windows 98 video did very good, so I decided to do another little small review on Plus for Windows 95, the OG Microsoft Plus Pack, which is basically an enhancement pack for high performance computers, which is most likely an expansion pack, of course, to enhance Windows 95 and add some extra visuals and all that cool stuff. Well, what it came out around the same time as Windows 95 did, even though Windows 98's Plus Pack came out later on in the time when Windows 98 was released. But Windows XP even had its own Plus Pack as well, later, several years later. And there's also other Plus, the different variations of the plus pack like a digital media edition a games pack well windows nt 4.0 has something a little similar with its resource kit so we're going to talk about the main plus for 98 I mean the plus 95 pack well you get a little unique some unique tools as well the for the system like some unique system like you get the your typical system agent which is basically does all which is something something similar to your scheduled task even though it don't all the when I try to run the system agent thing from the system tools menu it don't really it wants you to reinstall plus but it's no big deal and you get a drive agent tool which allow you to do like drive compression which was also introduced in the later version of windows 95 which is windows 95 in the later osr releases of like from osr 1 and osr 2 a unique thing that is that it was in a lot of versions of windows that started doing microsoft started doing away with with the release of windows 10 and windows 11 is Internet Explorer, Microsoft's own internet browser ranging from Internet Explorer 1. Point, even though Microsoft Plus for 95 in, was inter, came with included with plus with Internet Explorer 1.0, but the later releases of Windows 95 and NT 4.0 came with Internet Explorer 2.0, which that was in Windows 95 OSR 1, but OSR 2 and 2.1 came included with Internet Explorer 3.0. As well as Internet Explorer 4 was optional in OSR 2.5, which also included a unique Windows desktop update to give it a more web integration feel and also kind of make the interface resemble more like Windows 98. Another fun thing that came with, another cool thing that came with Windows 95 Plus is the iconic Space Cadet pinball. Which was also later introduced in Windows in Windows Me, but it was also introduced in majority of the NT based versions due to the fact that it became bundled with some of the built with the default games in Windows NT 4.0, well, in the Windows NT based operating systems from Windows NT 4.0, Windows 2000, and Windows XP, which a lot of people were introduced, majority, a lot of people that a lot of youngsters around that time were introduced to pinball, either in the 9x based version of Windows, Windows Me, known as Windows Millennium Edition, or the NT based Windows XP. And this one was originally created by Maxis. The company that created the Sims and Sim City. Another unique feature of Windows 95 was also a tab that does visual effects. That was also later introduced in Windows NT 4.0, even though Windows NT 4 still referred to it as a plus tab. But this was later re renamed as the effects tab in Windows 98, and Windows 2000, and Windows Me. So Well, you get you get an option to enable smooth dragging, which does something like this. 
or you don't have no box. And you do get font smoothing, which allow you to have smoother fonts if you're using a higher color depth, whether it's high color or true color, as well as show icons using all possible colors. But if you disable the uh, show icon using all possible colors, it's going to make your icons look a lot more like it's into 56 colors. You have the ability to change the desktop icons and Windows Explorer icons to the large icons. And you do have the option to stretch the wallpaper, which was something that was also later introduced in Windows 98. Another iconic feature of Windows 95 Plus we're going to be taking a look at is desktop themes, of course. And I do have all the themes from the Plus for Kids pack also imported, and even though I had to install a revised version of desktop themes, so the default built-in themes can work with with basically when you install a later version of Internet Explorer, whether it's IE4, or IE5.5, or any version of Microsoft Office like Office 97 and Office 2000, you have to install a revised version of desktop themes if you got the plus pack installed because in Windows 95 with the older version of desktop themes you'll get some unexpected error message but if you're going to use the plus for 95 pack I highly recommend using it without the Windows desktop update if you want to get that full Windows 95 experience. Because the Windows desktop update in Windows 95 is very optional. And if you're not, if you don't, before you, if you want to see what a theme look, sounds like or look what it looks like before you apply it, you do have an option to preview it. If you see a check, that means it's got all of its proper files in its right path. If it's missing a file, it'll usually display a check, a question mark by it. And you do have the option to revert to the previous settings if you don't like how the your theme is a how your the theme that you got set on there. And you do have the option to change a few, to modify some of the visuals of the desktop themes. To see what it looked like before you apply a theme on here. And you get the whole nine yards. And in my next video, I'm going to also talk about the Plus for Kids pack in its separate video. I also want to mention what the boot screen of Windows 95 looks like with the Plus pack, if you're not familiar. So let me go ahead and restart real quick and show you. you. You get a unique boot screen that says Microsoft Plus at the bottom, but later version of Windows 95 with OSR 2 from 2.1 to 2.5, you get the Microsoft Internet Explorer portion at the bottom. So yeah, and there you have it. That's my little short overview of Plus for Windows 95. I'll probably be back with the next video discussing Plus for Kids. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.